What's going on guys, Enzo here. Welcome to my Cigar Lounge and today we are back again with another video. Today is May 1st, 2021 and uh, I actually just resigned from my job. That's what I'm celebrating because I got an even better job and I can't wait to kind of just share some information about it. Uh, don't worry about the background noise as you guys know I'm outside but I'm really excited for this video and I hope you all enjoy. Wow. So today, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this cigar. This is by a company called Drew Estate. I don't really know the history on them. I know, the only thing I know is that everyone loves them. And everyone says the smoke output is good and they just make some really awesome cigars. So I'm really excited to check this one out. I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this one right, but it's called Drew Estate Muwat Kentucky Fire Cured Sweets. Uh, this one, the wrapper is San Andreas, and uh, this filler is going to be Nicaragua and Brazilian filler. The notes in this are supposed to be oak, hickory, and maple sweetness, as well as some smokiness, and it also has a sweetened cap, so I'm really excited to try this one out. I haven't ever had, like, a sweetened cap before. This one's a really tiny one, and the, it's kind of good because it's actually about to be nighttime. Uh, time currently right now is going to be 747, and the temperature outside in Virginia is 66 degrees, so it's perfect temp. Hopefully the lighter works today, but uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right guys, so let's go ahead and unravel this thing. I really like the design on this. The sticker looks also really cool. All right, let me try to push this out really quick. And there we have it. One other thing I wanted to let y'all know, this was actually sent out to me by a good guy, actually a subscriber of mine in California. He lives in San Francisco, if I'm correct, or San Diego. I can't remember which one, but he sent this out to me. His name is Daniel Yip. So big shout out to you, bro. Really appreciate it. And uh, he sent me a whole bunch of other stuff. If you checked out that video where I unboxed some of his stuff, as well as the one uh, that Ian sent me, I'll be checking out some of yours really soon, Ian. Uh, probably next month will be your turn. Uh, the only reason I'm smoking this one is because it's like the smallest one and I'm losing daylight right now. So I'm really interested in seeing this new brand too. The smell... You know how usually the cigars that I smell are like cocoa, that fish food vibe, and then you get that kind of chocolatiness to it? This one smells like straight smoke. In a good way, though. It smells like... It smells like wood. Like, I could burn this in it would probably make the grill smell really good. And I think that's what they were honestly going for anyway, because the way they actually, like... The way they let their, like, wrappers or leaves age is pretty amazing. And uh, I don't know the price on this one. Uh, I guess I'm imagining for this little size, it's probably going to be around like maybe six to seven dollars. I couldn't see it being any more than that. I'm pretty sure like maybe another one might be a little more expensive. But this is a nice little tiny size and I'm pretty sure it'll maybe be like a 30 minute cigar if anything, 30, 45 minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this before these flies start flying over here. That's why I was trying to hurry before it started getting at night because I have my ring light on right now. But uh, let's go ahead and cut this up. I got my Calibri lighter as always. I love this thing. This is just a regular guillotine. I'm gonna get a V cut soon. I'm also gonna get like a punch hole, punch cutter. But uh, let's get right into it. This one smells really good and I'm really excited. Hopefully we get this one right. Ooh, that was good. That was really good. I think that's the best one so far. That's the best one so far. I gotta show you all this up close, hold on. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get this thing lit up. It is 7.58 right now, so let's do this. Hopefully the lighter works. It works. Here we go. Let's go ahead and toast it. Now y'all can finally see me do this. Y'all, now the Kalibi's outperforming, and man, that opening is awesome. Wow. Right off the bat, first thing I get is just straight smokiness, and it just tastes like I'm at the barbecue. I, oh wow, okay. 
I'm really excited for this one. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna touch it up just a little bit, and we'll go ahead and burn it. Y'all, the smoke on this one, the output, that's the best I've seen so far. I'm really excited to see how this ash is going to work out, uh, if it's going to hold up. Uh, the burn on this is great. I'll give y'all a close-up right now. And I know I'm going to get that slow-mo footage as always, but I'll talk to y'all on the first third. I wasn't recording that whole part that whole first part that I did. Anyways, I'm in my first third now. Uh, the burn on it is very good, but I know this thing gets really crazy. Um, you know, sometimes these things can get really wild and all of a sudden they'll start having this dip down and then it starts doing that thing. But uh, right now the burn is very good. Uh, overall, the ash is really nice. The flavors that I'm getting on the first part of it is this nice smoky and like woodiness to it. It's really nice. Like, it's burning pretty quickly and I've been taking my time with this one. Like I said, we started this at 7.58 and right now it's already like 8.05. So it's going pretty well. Uh, I'm really liking the flavors on this one though. Uh, I'm really trying to smoke this one slow because I don't want to go too fast. Because in the last video with that Perdomo one, loved it. Tasted amazing. All of a sudden, I'm sitting on the bed feeling sick. I was like, yo, I gotta chill. So we're gonna take it a little bit slower today. And uh, I really like this one though. It's it's really nice. Again, this is my first one from Drew Estate. Big shout out again to uh, Daniel for sending me this. And I had this in my humidor for about probably like three weeks. And he had it in his humidor for I don't know how long. Um, but it, it was time for a smoke this one. And I'm glad that I did too. I'm getting that oakiness, man. And the burn is amazing. Really am liking that smoke, guys. Like, I don't know if it's because of just the type of day it is. And again, it's 66 degrees. Really, it's probably like 65, 64 now. Uh, it's getting a little bit chillier. I might put my jacket on later. Right now, this is good. And plus, there's no wind or anything. My lighter actually worked amazing. I filled this all the way up to the brim. And in case I need to actually touch this up, I have another lighter in the house, too. Let that car pass by. But uh, I'll talk to y'all in the second, third. So the ash actually broke a little bit. I'm glad I got all those shots that I did. I got some photos and I got some slow-mo. I know y'all like that slow-mo footage. I love doing slow-mo footage. Uh, these flies out here are trying it tonight. Uh, it's only 60 degrees. I don't know why they're out here right now. Honestly though, so far so good. Uh, I'm in the second third right now and there's no really change in the flavor but it's just it's smooth. There's no really pepper notes to this one. It's just smoky. Uh, the sweet cap is or the sweetened cap is really nice. Uh, it's a nice addition um, It's something that I'm not really used to I guess I still think obviously the Arturo Fuente is still my favorite Bellicoso Don Carlo second place is definitely gonna go to Perdomo uh, Davidoff and then Who was he? Oh this one then then this one and the my father's that I had I think personally me I just don't like the Connecticut type of blend and it's partly because I hate almonds 
And I know every a lot of people like almond stuff. I just never been a fan of that almondiness to it, or really almond and oak that that vibe with me. I'm not really a fan of that. But um, other than that though, like I said, overall this is a really good cigar. Uh, the the burn is still good. Uh, only a little bit of the ash came off. It's like a nice light ash too. So yeah, I, I imagine this is gonna last maybe like 35 to 40 minutes if anything, which is my type of smoking time. I don't really want to go too long and like I said it is starting to get dark out here um, street lights are definitely on <laughs> and um, like I said I'm enjoying it. I hope everyone's day is going well I had a great day like I said this was my last day working for uh, Amazon uh, so yeah I worked in a warehouse for three years there and I have a whole story on that uh, really soon maybe uh, I don't know. It's probably going to be a huge part series just because I have so much to share with you all. Uh, it won't be really on the cigar part of the things, but it'll definitely be like a part on my channel that I'll have. Uh, it's just going to be for everyone, honestly, to give knowledge to people about Amazon. Good and bad, you know, it's nothing to bash Amazon or anything. It's just to help people know what's going on in the warehouse, I guess, that I was at. Let's go ahead and enter the night shift in this final third. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you love it. And uh, share with your friends if you enjoy it. Alright guys, it's starting to get a little chilly out here now. Uh, let me check the temperature. It is 825 right now. And the temp has gone down to 61 degrees. So it's definitely getting chilly now. Uh, it felt pretty good today. It was really windy earlier. And um, like I said, I'm probably going to stop in just a little bit. So I'm about to conclude this video out. Overall though, seriously, this cigar is pretty good. Honestly, I really love the smoke on it. I really like the smokiness to it. And on top of that, you get that nice oaky flavor as well. It's a really nice cigar, guys. Um, I definitely recommend you try it out. I definitely be checking more out from the Jewish State brand. But again, I like more of a sweeter cigar more of that chocolatey expressiveness give me more of that because that's really what i'm like looking for when i just want to chill or something like that's what i want i'm gonna go ahead and turn down the brightness as well because this thing is bright right now all right there we go There we go, there we go. Look at that coal, it's burning hard. Also, now the Calibri lighter is really performing. I'm very happy about that. Uh, this is what they meant. I guess you have to do this uh, at least in probably 60. To, I, I imagine you can't go no more than about 50 degrees because after that, um, you're gonna probably have to start dealing with like, you know, cutting out and whatnot. So, which makes sense. You shouldn't really be outside smoking something in like, 50 degree weather anyway but you know those cigarette smokers love doing that so yeah but i really want to just thank you all for watching and it's just rocking with me because this series it's kind of growing like every video hits over a thousand views um you know i really appreciate the support on it you know you all helping me with the journey and everything on it like i said i'd always wanted to sm smoke cigars it was something i wanted to do but I did want to kind of just follow the rule and actually do it when I was 21 and I'm glad that I did. Uh, like I said, I'm still going to keep it on like that month to month thing. Uh, I don't want to kind of go too out of whack on it. And, you know, I'm not, I, I just, me personally, I've never been one to be like, oh, I'm definitely getting addicted to this. Like, no, I know I, I can go without it if I, if I need to. It's not something I'm like, oh, I want to go smoke. I need to smoke or something. I need that cigarette or something. Like, I've never even smoked a cigarette. I don't want to smoke a cigarette, so uh, I'll stick with a cigar one month every time. Um, you know, I even might give some cigars away just because I won't be able to smoke all these by the end of the year, that's for sure. Plus, I just don't want it to go to waste, and I feel like sharing the love with other people who love cigars, why not, you know? This is really just a journey for me to just share, like, my experiences with each cigar that I try. This is cigar, I think, number five? Yeah, number five. This is my fifth cigar, so... I guess the sixth one, we'll see what the sixth one is going to be in, uh, what is it, May? I guess right at the end of May. No. Switch that. Not May. June. June, you'll see another video. 
and I may have another unboxing if you guys send me some more cigars. So, uh, thank you all for watching once again. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And they will push notifications if you want to stay up to date with everything that's happening on the channel. Let me know what you thought of this video once again. Till next time, peace out.